Hiding behind the sofa, so incapable of dealing with it all that you took the dog for a walk. Or maybe, just maybe, you were there. And so for this theatre of so many dreams, here is the one which impossibly, unimaginably, preposterously, thrillingly, and still 20 years on, so very vividly, came true. Van Munich have, have brought in a few young lads, I think, since that final, just to, uh, to give them a little bit of a fitness edge. But this is a great Manchester United team, one of the best teams that we've seen in a long, long time. Of course, that league-winning team as well, you'd be comparable to the current Manchester City team, the Chelsea team under Mourinho, the Invincibles of Arsenal. But what we're looking at today is one of the all-time great teams. That's right, York did play the full 90 in that game against uh, Tottenham that won the league, and indeed against Bayern, he played the last half hour of the FA Cup final, in which uh, Paul Scholes was a starter. And there's not a seat for Oli Solskjaer. Well, it really is a sensational turnout for Manchester United. It is 10 of the 11 who began that balmy night. The only absentee is Ryan Giggs, whose place goes to Paul Scholes, so cruelly suspended, of course, for that big occasion. Actually, that change does restore Manchester United's natural midfield balance. David Beckham can play on the right, where Giggs played on the night, and Jesper Blomqvist stays left. Perhaps Sir Alex might have chosen to start this time with Sheringham and Solskjaer, but no, it's Cole and York again. The 11 start now, they are 58-year-old Lothar Mateus, a proper, proper legend, and Stefan Effenberg, that most robust of midfield enforcers. Goalkeeper Hans York Bott plays the part of Oliver Kahn, but did appear himself in two Champions League finals. The front four all scored some very famous Bayern goals in the years after 1999. Indeed, Ivica Olic scored home and away against United in the 2010 quarter-final. And they do have 13 potential substitutes. Not even a twinkle in a Eurosceptic's eye. So never mind now. Paolo Sergio. And rolled in by Zé Roberto, well seen by Dennis Irwin. Really game. And a good fella. Again, Solskjaer, York. It's Beckham's delivery and butt away and Gary Neville snatched at his moment. <laughs> Scholes, he's still got a ping. Baxter's still got a ping and Gary Neville still struggles in front of goal. But now brilliant, brilliant from Manchester United. It's exactly what we used to see in the past. Beckham, York, come through to Blomqvist. Beckham's got to help out his fullback now. Faced by Vitacek. Public of Ireland viewers uh, can do that only via the website. And here come Bayern Munich, one who profited most from the absence of Roy Keane and uh, Paul Scholes and got into the starting 11. Vitacek, it's Beckham, it's York, it's a wonderful save by Bart. It's York again, and it is in, of course. Of course it had to be in from Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. They've scripted this. What a brilliant substitution, Sir Alex. Well, it was. You see this little position that Dwight York takes up. Beckham not really used to running past this ball, but normally a quick touch and finish. A little miss kick there from Dwight York, but he's always aware. Say Roberto, Roy Mackay, if it's a oh, yeah, yep, stand in that. Dutchman on Dutchman. Just outside the penalty area, and Tim Robinson has something which... Uh, Olic. York's having a dance, he's left the tears behind. He said it for Solskjaer, who's step over. ...as well, sometimes at England's expense. In by Uttel, and very well played by Peter Schmeichel. Uh, that's a really clever ball. And Quist. Scholes, York, Scholes! And look at the Walker Trophy. Albert, Vitacek. That's a good header from Mackay. Not this time. It's all expense, the Scholes volley. Shooting to Zay Roberto, Solskjaer, Gary Neville! Oh, 
denied by a plunging Hans York, but it's a very good save. It was, it was an excellent save, I think. So Roberto. Giovanni Alper, Ivica Olic, do a Blomqvist. Face to face with Ottel. And then to Brian Robson's Middlesbrough. York and Bott. And uh, York can run away from Mateus. It's quite York. He's seen Beckham. Joe. Ivica Olic. And out of harm's way by Yapstan. Scores. 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 Flags up against Gary Neville. It hit the shin of Gary Neville, who knew almost nothing about it, but who was standing in an offside position. Effenberg. How by Yapstan this time. So Roberto, oh. it's Effenberg. Say Roberto, and the flag is up again. Cup final that year, Roy Keane was uh, injured very early. Teddy Sheridan had to come on after. Yeah, you know what's going on these like. He's going in for a tackle as Manchester United make another substitution. Nicky Butt as well just coming to the side of the pitch. He was feeling a little bit discomfort, but it's sharing him on for Solskjaer. Jonsson it's pace Teddy Sheringham had to go back where it came from Beckham's corner Jonsson threw a boot Beckham's got time to measure one and he does and Sheringham draws Jonsson another he's a fortnight shy of his 50th birthday Sheringham for Blomqvist Blomqvist for York oh what a finish Roll back those years. Yorkie, you never stopped, did you? Well, even the current crop of Manchester United players would be proud of that one. Teddy Sheringham does what he does best. He's exquisite to watch. He's just got the most perfect technique. And Dwight York just pulling off his man with his left foot. He sweeps it in. How he keeps that low is unbelievable. They normally go high and wide. Dwight York had come over and told anyone who would listen that his hamstring was about to go. So Roberto. Robert's turn and shot. Roberto. Over by uh, Roy Mackay, which. So Roberto. Oh, it's a super headache. And Clipston, there's Owen, and there's Stoles, and there is Martin de Michaelis. So Roberto has found Evita Olic offside. Come and Scholes' passes today, they still time the ball really exquisitely. They are two of the best passes of the ball, certainly of my stumble. Merling has had a very good start, actually. One of those three substitutions you see confirmed. So Roberto, there is Sergio. Roy Mackay, Karsten Janka. In terms of going in behind, but the way he whips it, when you just look here, Sheringham plays a big part in this, taking all the men in front, and normally Scholes, he goes for power. And here is Olic. Stan committed himself and got between player and ball. Say Roberto. Ivica Olic, Jonsson's tackle. Beckham with whip. Sahar and Sammy Kufour into the Stratford end. Pavorsky. Louis Sahar. And Neville has set it for Sheringham. It's Gary Neville! Still no. Still no. Oh, he gets a nosebleed in these situations. Does Gary Neville? He had to pass the ball, but he saw glory. And the strength of that the ball drops to him as well there, but now he's got to lift his head up back post to Borsky or pull it back to Sahar. It's a tight angle and he goes for glory.
back in by Butts. And Tom Dreher dropped it. The 1999, the first half of the 1990s. Here's Sir Louis Sahar. Sylvester. Sahar. Plenjury. Podolski and Sheridan. Sahar and Mickey Butts found the bottom corner and loved his moment. Yeah, I just love that finish from Mickey Butt. It's a good play again from Manchester United. Bringing it down onto this left hand side, they've got a bit of width. He's a hard, always willing runner, and then he plays a great ball in with a little bit of pace on it, but it's bobbling a bit, wasn't easy again. You go for power, and normally that ends up in the Stratford, uh, Stratford end. Just get... The ball's keep creaming, it's onside here. And Louis Sahar can belt in United's fourth. Yeah, very nice play again from Manchester United. That deep run caught them out from Jonathan Green in. The question mark was, was it offside or not? I thought not in real time. You can quite clearly see it's a good decision from the linesman. And Louis Zahar, he runs past David May. I suppose he could. Now Beckham. Beckham could go all the way here. That showbiz. He knows where the limelight is. Beckham, Stratford end. Can I give the man of the match the backs? <laughs> darling of his club, darling of his country.